So, you know, here we at Fox 61 have been profiling people who work in Connecticut, specifically now amid the COVID-19 pandemic. We want to highlight those people who are essential and frontline workers. And it's convenient that we're airing this story today because we actually got an email from a woman named Wendy Murphy. She wrote to us saying that she felt as though grocery store employees weren't getting enough credit. Her own son works at a local grocery store and she feels he's putting himself at risk every day. So I interviewed a woman by the name of Rachel who works at a local stop and shop and this is what she says her job is like. Wearing the masks, the gloves and constant sanitizing. And how have you seen the shop change? Because I know a lot of stores are now changing the protocols for when you go into someplace like a grocery store. The main thing is arrows on the aisles, like which way to go down. How have people been responding? Not so well. <laughs> I can see how it's like annoying because it's like they want you to go down certain aisles and then up certain aisles. So I can see how it is kind of an inconvenience, but it is also is there for a reason. And now to hear that, you know, you're an essential worker, you are on the front line. So many people thanking grocery store attendants for what they're doing and the positions they're putting themselves in. How does that make you feel to hear that? I'm glad I'm happy. I have a job. I'm glad I can help people during such a hard time. And if there's anything else you would want people to know about what you're going through, what you're putting yourself at risk, what would it be? I would say the six feet rule, like don't go in people's faces, you know, just make sure that you're staying six feet away. Um, probably the gloves, because I see a lot of people like leaving gloves on and then touching their phone and everything else. So I would say that's a huge thing. All right, so thank you to Rachel and Wendy's son and all other folks who are working in grocery stores across the state to try and keep us fed. Let's remember some of the pointers she mentioned, those arrows on the floor are there for a reason. If you're wearing gloves, be mindful of what you go on to touch after you're touching random things in the store. And of course, keep your distance six feet away. We thank Rachel again. We thank Wendy's son and everybody else who's out there working during this time to make sure our needs are met.